Welcome back everyone, Coney is here. Today I'm flying from New Orleans, Louisiana to Mobile, Alabama. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I recently downloaded the liveries Mega Pack 12 and so I've selected a pinkish wheels up livery which I thought looked pretty nice. Kind of matches the reddish sky as well. I'm glad to see the weather's clear. I thought maybe it would be raining or storming. So let's go ahead and go inside and let's get it ready to take off here. All right, so park and brake off and let's get going. It's harder to keep the thing going straight as you're going down the runway here, but we can lift off now. Okay, get the wheels up. Flaps up. Rickyard 473, two clear to land runway 11. Follow the generic on final. 1240 and 8. New Orleans Tower KH363. Okay, we are on course. I have not set up autopilot yet. But at this point, all we need to do is turn on navigation. Turn on autopilot. I can get the button to click. Turn on the yaw damper. That one sometimes is hard to press. Okay, so we've got autopilot going. That'll get us navigating. Uh, it's not doing anything about altitude. I'm going to go ahead and throw altitude hold mode on. So let's stay around this altitude. I'm going to pull the throttle back to the halfway point. New Orleans Tower KH363 so I change. think autopilot's got everything under control. We're headed New right towards the other KH363 airport. Is type Beechcraft King Air 4 miles northeast of New Orleans, 1,900 feet. I'm going to grab Request the Xbox controller. Bravo airspace. Head outside, look around. Let's reset the view first. Uh, trying to reset the view. That's, I guess, as reset as it's going to get. All right. Um, this is actually very pretty. I'm seeing a lot of buildings and whatnot here. Not really that familiar with this area. Figured it would be at least somewhat visible at night. You can see the sun actually setting just now off in the west. If I do this, I zoom in on it. That's beautiful. Just watching the sun go down. They've done a really good job on making it look realistic with the kind of pieces of it kind of chopping off and fading away. It's very interesting. It's exactly what it looks like. Okay, well the sun has effectively set. We're not really going to see much else from it. A little bit of a spark there. Alright, 
again try to reset the view. It's interesting that it's not quite where I would expect it. It's okay. In any case, at this point, I think I would like to use the drone. So let's speed that up. And if we look around, that's all water in that direction, as far as the eye can see. Lakefront Airport. Interesting. Landing right over the water. So I thought it would be interesting to head off in this direction and see what's over here. So some kind of a little pond here or something. If I let up on the controller, the plane begins dragging us forward. That's interesting. I've never seen buildings like that. The building on that side, though, looks like a solid concrete block. So, of course, that can't be right. Maybe it's supposed to be a tank? Well, I see some windows on that side. I think we better disconnect from the plane for now, just so that we can look around. I do want to check on the plane though. Speed's good, altitude's good, heading is correct, so we're in good shape there. Got a while to go before we have to land. Yeah, so I'm really curious about this funny looking building over here. What is this? Um, I mean, it looks reasonable enough, but this just doesn't look like a, a building anybody would want to occupy. And then over here, you've got these cute, you know, this donut ring of apartments. Hey, it's three, three. You see, uh, <laughs> apparently people are watching TV at home. Or they all have blinking, blinking blue lights. That's really cute, making it look Going realistic. To one tree decimal, one five K H tree but um, yeah, who's New ever heard of a donut-shaped apartment tree, next to a big? Feet. That would have to be a parking structure, maybe. Tree, I don't know. Uh, it, it even Up almost looks like an eye. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I love how the street lights here are different colors. a lot of waterways. Okay, so where else to look? Um, it's not really obvious. Just maybe follow this highway here a little bit. I think that's our airplane right there, maybe. That looks like a planet, but I think that's our craft right there. I can catch up to it, I think. Uh, oh, it like a, it's probably a water tank that it made into an office building. Again, I don't think that's somewhere people would want to work, necessarily. Yeah, I should be able to catch up to the plane this way. I think. It would help actually if I turned on follow mode again. That'll speed us up quite a bit. Of course I could reset and go back there, but it'd be interesting to see if I can actually navigate back to the plane itself.
see another plane off in the distance over there. Something up there. It's amazing what you can see with 4K. Those pixels wouldn't even show up at, at full high def. Alright, so I feel like we're getting close to our craft. I'm seeing a whole rainbow of dark pastel colors here in the sky. That's really pretty. So we'll swoop in on our plane here. If I load up on the control and we stay the same relative to, relative to it, then it's our plane. Yep, that's our plane. I just love the late late evening, early night sky views. Reflections off of the water. It's very pretty. Looks like a little bit of cloudiness here, and that's interesting. Looking for a nice looking view here. Reset the drone view. I really picked a good plain color. It's really matching up with the sky. I, I didn't do it on purpose. It just looked like a pretty color to me. But really like the way it all matches. Also, it's kind of complementary of the dark green black ground. Uh, I'm going to go back to the external view. Reset that. Instruments look good, altitude's good. Let's check on the engine. Okay, those instruments look good. Um, we 
could use turning down the lights here a little bit, so... Let's see if that helped. Yep, that helped a lot. Okay, perfect. I want to see what it looks like inside. From the uh, kind of cockpit overview look. That's always a very cool look. You see us going over the water on the central Garmin indicator. I choose music that represents the mood I feel when I'm flying. It just gives me a wide open, free feeling. Of course I'm not actually flying, but simulation, I think it does a really good job. It gives me a really nice escape. It's very relaxing. It's fun to learn to fly, something I've always wanted to do. and. Surprised how much I did and did not already know about how to do it. There's somebody. Looks like my uh, name tags got turned off again. I turned those on at one point. It'd be nice to see who those are, who those people are as they go by. Uh, looks like we're about to fly right over an airport, maybe? Yeah, Gulfport Airport. I would presume normally you wouldn't just fly right over an airport. Um, probably we'd have to have a more roundabout flight plan. I don't know how to do that. I have to figure out how to make more complicated flight plans. Beautiful overview of the airport lights. This is almost becoming my favorite time of day to fly is when the sun has gone down. You can still see everything, but the night lights have come on. Everything looks almost magical. That's a beautiful view. Wow. Out to the wide view. So we're heading into Alabama. I don't know at what point we're crossing the border. I do need to find a plug-in to add, you know, map information to the VFR map, not just aircraft information. Because it'd be nice to know where I'm going sometimes. Actually, like, most of the time. Oh, it suddenly got dark below us. Must be water. 
I'm guessing water. A little, a little hard to see. I think it's time to go out with the drone again. So I'll stay connected to the plane, but let's give you some speed. I don't know why I haven't just gone into the settings and changed that. Okay, so what's all this over here? Interesting. Maybe it's a sports center or something? It's kind of hard to tell what all that is. There's an Air Force Base. Let's go look at the Air Force Base. Kess Kiesler Air Force Base with a pretty blue landing strip. Now I wonder what, can I get up close to this spotlight? I haven't actually looked at one of these up close. Oh, well, we need to disconnect from the plane or else this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Okay. I'd like to see one of these up close. Let's get the cursor out of the way. There it is. Oh wow, okay, yeah, it's certainly bright all right. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, that's the Air Force Base. I'll reattach to the plane. I need to assign buttons to do this stuff. Uh, follow mode. I think that's us right there, if I'm not mistaken. What's up with the... L oh, that's a building. I thought the lights were shimmering in some weird way, but that's actually a building. Okay. More grassy, lit grassy fields that kind of do and do not look like sports fields. I wouldn't expect things to be growing in the middle of a sports field. Obviously a big area of water. Yep, you can definitely see it in this view. That's really pretty. So I don't know an what any of this is. Um, you don't really get photogrammetry in 4K, so you lose logos and whatnot. I'm hoping they provide high-res photogrammetry data at some point. Ocean Springs must be another airport. Yep, I see the spotlight. I see it must be a very tiny runway with these few little lights over here. Okay, I'm going to go back to the plane, so reset the drone view, switch to external, reset that view. And I should plug the controller in so it doesn't turn off and cause the game to lock up. Maybe they've fixed that, I don't know. Okay, and I'd like to go inside. Reset that view as well. I think I'll take over from autopilot from here on out and get ready to land. Not sure which side of the airport we're going to be landing on. Uh, let's see, what do I need to do besides turn off autopilot? I think that's it. It's not letting me press the button. take over from here. Uh, our altitude is good. I might want to bring it up just a tad. I do want to start slowing down, however. So let's both drop the throttle and nose up a bit and get the speed down. Twenty-one, twenty-two hundred feet, something like that would be good. All right. 
Alright, so I'm going to level off now. Okay, drop thought a little bit more. Just try to get this speed down before we have to slow it all the way down to zero on the Linux trip. We will burn off some speed and then I'll have to bring the throttle back up to maintain a safe cruising speed. It's nice seeing the stars in the sky. Co-pilot will soon contact the tower, mobile tower. Oh yeah, the flight director's telling us to nose up to get back up to altitude. That's a good point. I think maybe th that little horizontal line is where I'm supposed to be to for uh, staying level, maybe. I don't know how to read those graduations in the center of the screen there where my yellow and magenta arrows are. In any case, we're within range, so we should be okay. We can continue to climb a bit and burn off more speed before throttling up a little bit, and then I'll have to put down the flaps, which will require more throttling up. And the flight director wants us to go down, that's right, because it's saying 1900. That's fine, I can ignore that. That's the magenta arrows. I think the, air, the line I'm on is the stay level line. The white line is the ground. Uh, I guess the <laughs> horizontal plane or something. I don't know. I assume if you stay above that white long white horizontal line that you won't hit the ground. That's the idea there. Okay, so we're coming into the airport at a good speed. I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down partway and throttle up. And push on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. Ooh, or you have to push up a lot. Okay. Alright. And I can probably afford to drop throttle a little bit. I went up to the center detent again, so you know quite a bit of throttle. You can go back down. Mobile approach KH363. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KH363 mobile approach. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Oh wow, I went really up in altitude. I need to drop back down. So easy to suddenly climb up. <laughs> Might be handy if I turned off altitude. Mobile tower KH won't bug me so much about my altitude. Miles southwest with Sierra to land. KH363 mobile tower. Okay, I really do need to drop now. No, I went way too high. Enter left base runway 15KH363. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Where do I enter? Okay, I think I'm... Well, let's see. It's a little hard to tell where I'm supposed to go, actually. Um, but the, the entrance looks like it's close to me. So let's just head over there. I'm going to drop the throttle and then... Uh, turn, but also try to burn off some of this altitude we gained. 
Seems like I can only keep track of about n minus one things, and so something always ends up getting neglected. This time it was altitude. I really didn't want to go that high. I wanted to stay around 22, 21. But it's okay. We can get up and down pretty quickly here. Do you still have to burn off that speed? I've got the flaps going. The flaps are not supposed to be down at this speed, so I should probably put them back up for safety. And then that uh, pull back on the stick to regain that lift or that elevation or whatever. Uh, rotation angle. <coughs> Alright, so we're at altitude. I'm going to drop the throttle some more. Yep, landing gear. That's right. Time for landing gear. Okay, so I'm really going to try to keep an eye on the altitude. I don't want to change altitude. And I need to kind of feel out where the entrance is. I'll go a little further. I see where the airport itself is. That's kind of a clue. So dropping. Don't want to do that. I'm in flap range again, though. I'm going to put the flaps down all the way. And give it some throttle so we don't drop out of the sky. And also push forward so we don't go too high up. Okay, so we've got full flaps. We're staying at altitude. We're at a safe speed. I wouldn't want to go any slower than that right now. I'm going to get begin my turn, see how close I am to turning into the entrance. Okay, I think we're good. Speed is good. It's nice to show up and it's not all red because I've managed to slow down ahead of time. It's been my problem most of the time is waiting too long before s slowing the plane down to land. Okay, I need to nose down a little bit. I see a blinking light off in the distance. I first thought that was a plane, but it must be another airstrip somewhere. Okay, I'm trying to stay level. Don't want to drop. We've sped up a little bit. That's probably because we dropped. That's fine. We're still at a good speed. Looks like we're on target to enter landing pattern. trying to be mindful of both altitude and airspeed. We're doing okay direction-wise. <coughs> it's a pretty well-lit night, so it's not too hard to see things. Uh, I've got the flaps all the way down, I've got the landing gear down, so we're good in that respect. throttle. We do need to slow down some more. And then we'll start making our turn. Seems like an especially wide landing pattern here. That's nice. And it looks like I'm going to have to make a series of turns. That's all right. That will not be a problem. Okay, so I really do not want to either lose or gain altitude at this point, and so I've really got to 
keep it level, um, except for the slight downgrade in the pattern itself, and watch my throttle. I feel like I need to throttle up a little bit just because we're starting to slow down. This speed is okay, I just don't want to drop any more right now. Nice that we got clearance to land. That's a good thing to have. Uh, the air feels really calm. I programmed the game to do real time, you know, time of day and weather. Uh, this should be, I believe, still central time, so it should be about 5.30 in the evening here. Okay, so I'm making a sharp turn here, keeping an eye on my speed, altitude's okay, don't want to stress the plane out too much, so let's start correcting out this turn. Slowly, gently. Alright. Angle is starting to decline a little faster. I'm going to drop throttle some more so that we don't gain any more speed as we descend faster. I see an airplane ahead of us there. Okay, so everything looks good. We're at a good angle. Uh, we're at a very nice speed. So let's make this additional turn. I don't know how many more turns. This may be the last one. I think it's the second to last. Let's uh, just lean into the turn here. It's a little sharp. Okay, so now we are going too fast. That is a very sharp turn there at the last minute, but I can dethrottle and we'll the speed will take care of itself. Okay, I don't want to dethrottle too much. Let's just keep an eye on things. 500, yep. Alright, I'm going to drop throttle all the way and then we'll pick it up if we need to if we start getting too close to the non-asphalt part of our landing zone here. In fact, I think I will give it a little bit. I can't tell how high off the ground I am. But I now do see the landing strip coming into focus on the Garmin. I wonder if it really looks that realistic on the actual Garmin. Okay, so we've got the throttle all the way down. We're near the ground. I just want to hover now. And then just... Uh, first of all, try to get more centered, but... Oh, the game just locked up at the worst possible time. Oh, you know what? The 360 controller probably turned off. Um, okay, there we go. Stall. Stall, yep. Okay, so anyway, we're still hovering. Fortunately, the game just does like a pause. Let's, let's do the front. Front wheels down. Okay. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Going too fast to take that first turn. So let's see, where can we. Turn next taxiway, next okay. Alright, so uh, we survived that lockup. I have to remember to, when I use the controller, to jiggle the stick occasionally to keep it from slowing down. I mean, uh, turning off. Where is the next. Okay, I think it's coming up. I think there's an arrow up there ahead for us or something. We'll see. I need to bring the flaps up so we don't accidentally take off again. KH363, turn next taxiway. I am, I am. Once I get there, I will do that. And yeah, I think those are guiding arrows. So I can just get into get in line with those and we should be good. KH363, 
So it looks like the game effectively, you know, puts it into active pause if something like that happens. Because as soon as it stopped being hung up after 10 seconds, it picked up where it was and we didn't lose any momentum in the plane or, you know, altitude or anything. It seemed to be just fine. Okay, so here's where we're turning. ATC is a little antsy, but, you know, they've got planes coming in, right? Uh, let's do the combined brake and rudder turn there. Okay. Give it some throttle, because we slowed down. Okay, right. I've got to stop contact grounds with the parking brake on. Okay, we'll taxi to parking. Mobile ground, KH363, request taxi to parking. Parking brake off. Throttle KH363, up. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Cross Runway 36 Echo, KH363. We're going a little fast to come into this sharp turn, so I'm going to start slowing down. And the brake will help us pivot nicely. Okay. I've got the throttle all the way down. The engines are running at a higher speed. Probably maybe for cooling purposes, they probably pitched back the propeller so it's equivalent idle thrust. Although we are going, pick, we are picking up speed pretty fast. We, this might be also downhill. I'm going to break a little bit here. Am I on a taxiway or a runway? I must be on a taxiway. Yeah, I'm on a taxiway. Okay. Yeah, this is way too fast. Got the throttle, as you can see, I've got it down. Uh, the internal temperature is high, though, so it may be running it to cool. That seems like a reasonable explanation for the high rev. I'm just gonna have to keep putting on the brakes to keep from going too fast. I see another airplane ahead of us. I wonder if they're landing or. What? I wonder if that's the same one we saw earlier. It's a little hard to tell how far away they are. Okay, this is way too fast for taxi. Alright, I see our parking spot coming up on the right, so good. We're almost there. Slow down again. Okay, rudder, 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 and that. Parking brake, parking brake, or not parking brake, but right, right wheel brake. Really seems important to get good at using those two together, this kind of stuff. Now I don't know where I'm at in reference to the parking spot. I guess I'm fine, probably. It's green, so I'm parking. Now let me shut the engines off as I'm going through their cool down cycle. Not a great parking job, but I'm not being scored on parking, so who cares? So here we are in Mobile, Alabama at night. Can't really see anything. Let's go back inside. All right. Uh, so I should be able to turn off the plane here. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.